I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, web graphics that you want to be able to use on your own websites or blogs or wherever you want to on the internet. And a lot of people are advocating that you go over here to Google and type on images and then go out here and search for whatever topic you're interested in. And here's a bunch of clip art that you can use, right? Ha <laughs> ha, wrong. Most of this stuff is copyright. You can't grab these images and use them yourself without getting into trouble someplace. Now, I'm not saying that a lot of people don't do it, but I like to play it safe. So I went to a website called Open Clip Art, and you'll see right here it says the Open Clip Art Library is the largest collaboration community that creates, shares, and remixes clip art. All clip art is released to the public domain and may be used in any project for free with no restrictions. Uh, that makes me feel a lot more comfortable about using some of this on whatever I want to. So let's take for example you wanted to create a, a little icon for a blog post that you're doing about games. You come over here and click on this little picture right here and it's going to show you the icon. That looks pretty cool. So then you can go down here and click on edit the image and it'll bring it up and open it up inside their free editor. All right, now I'm going to want it a little bigger than this for my blog so I'm going to go file image properties I think it is yeah and I want to make it let's say uh, 400 by uh, 200 and say save. That, notice that made my space a lot bigger there so now I can take my uh, image here and just drag it out to where it's bigger and as long as it fits in that white space it'll save. There we go that's ready to go. Now if I wanted to write something on there I can go over here to logos and pick out a, a fun logo. Let's see, I'm going to use fun time and I'm going to change the logo text to fun. Now I can just grab that and drag it down onto my little screen there and then use these little handles to resize it. And then let's say I want to go uh, back this out and I want to put in a, a I want to put in a sticker so I click on stickers and I go to uh, oh let's just go to more I'm going to go down here and click on uh, back to school and let's grab uh, this computer right here and I'm going to say put that in there so I just drag it over to where I want it and again I can resize it, move it around so I can make my own clip art and make it do virtually anything that I want to. Let's put a school bus on there drag that down here, put it in the corner let's make it a little bit smaller but you can see you can do just about anything you want with it. Then when you're done you just come up here to file save and you can save it as an SVG so it can be resizable or if you want to use it on a website someplace you can change that to let's say a PNG format that's the uh, portable graphics format and say save it and uh, save the file say OK now if I double click on that there's my image ready to use wherever I want it so have some fun with this. I mean, you can play around and do, this is just a very narrow tip of the iceberg. You can play around with this and do all kinds of stuff with it, and you won't be getting in trouble with the copyright laws. So have fun with it, and we'll see you online.